hello friends welcome to your channel in today's video we will be diving into the world of land sizing exploring its importance in various industries uh, like chemical industries oil and gas industries pharmaceutical and fertilizer industry understanding how to calculate the required pipe diameter and applying it to a real world example so let's get start first Let's talk, uh, let's talk about what exactly is line sizing. Line sizing is the process of determining the appropriate diameter of pipes or pipeline used in fluid transportation system. It's a crucial steps in industry such as oil and gas, chemical, fertilizer, dyes and more. Now let's discuss importance of line sizing. The, uh, the importance of line sizing become evident when we consider factors like erosion, velocity, costing and pressure drop. Erosion velocity is a critical consideration. If the fluid velocity in a pipe is too high, it can lead to erosion and damage over time. Line sizing, uh, line sizing help us avoid this issue. Costing is another factor to keep in mind selecting a pipe size with a very low velocity increases the cross-sectional area and can lead to the higher cost line sizing help strike the right balance pressure drop is the uh, pressure drop is the reduction in the fluid pressure as it flow through the pipeline and improperly sized pipe can result in extensive pressure drop affecting system performance so basic formula for calculation of line sizing is nothing but flow rate is equal to uh, velocity into cross sectional area of pipe that is q is equal to va where q is in meter cube per second v is uh, nothing but velocity in meter per second and a is nothing but cross sectional area in meter square so uh, uh, let's start with one example uh, but before uh, to start with example we can rearrange this formula as this uh, diameter is equal to square root of uh, volumetric flow rate in meter cube per second divided by 0.785 into velocity 0.785 nothing but its value of 5 by 4 so let's start with example calculate required uh, diameter for the water pipeline having flow of 0.1 meter cube per second so in this example we have already taken the flow rate into meter cube per second if your flow rate is in meter cube per hour you can convert it into meter cube per second so based on uh, uh, the factors which we had discussed uh, in this video before we can consider uh, optimum velocity that is 2 meter per second so by putting a 0.1 meter cube per second as a flow q and a velocity as 2 meter per second in this uh, diameter calculation formula the answer in the uh, meter is 0 0.095 meter in the uh, mm is it's uh, 94 mm and uh, so we can uh, uh, consider 4 inch pipe, uh, pipe diameter for this flow so this is very basic uh, calculation uh, method using this velocity that is 2 meter per second you can calculate pressure drop and the pressure drop matches uh, as per your requirement then our considerable uh, velocity that is 2 meter per second velocity is okay and then our uh, diameter calculation has, is also okay if required pressure drop and calculated pressure drop uh, have a difference then we have to rearrange this velocity whether it's uh, 2.5 or 1.5 depend upon that uh, calculated pressure drop so uh, in next video we uh, learn how to calculate pressure drop please like the video and subscribe the channel we will come with another video very soon Thank you.